Alexis here at Breathe Life Ministries, and I am announcing a brand new study that we will begin diving into next week. I'm going to put Transformed Tuesdays on a little hiatus, which in all honesty, they already have been, but I have scheduled the uh, reboot and restart of our Transformed Tuesdays. Uh, where we dive into my devotional each Tuesday at 1.30 in the afternoon Eastern. I'm going to begin that study up again uh, beginning October fir uh, 4th, excuse me, Tuesday, October 4th. There is an event page update for that. Um, I do want to offer my apologies for not being more vigilant about updating you on what's going on with Transform Tuesday. So for those of you who looked forward to that and uh, were disappointed that there weren't any posts, I, I do apologize. That was, that was a failure on my part. And uh, again, I apologize. But it will be back up and running uh, steadily come October 4th. The reason I'm putting it on hiatus is for this study. It has been impressed on my heart to offer you an opportunity to get to know an extraordinary prophet, the prophet Ezekiel. He was born in Israel to a priestly family in, let's see here, I wrote it down. Um, oh goodness. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that, folks. I made these notes really quickly and <laughs> Uh, I, 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 got, I, I set it down after I wrote the notes and uh, lost my place. I am, I've got it back, though. So um, he was born in Israel in 622 BCE, before Christ. So 622 years before Christ. He was born during the time of the King Josiah, who was responsible for many reforms that swept through Israel. He was born shortly after the prophet Jeremiah received his call in 626 BCE. What makes this particular prophet from the Old Testament important to us today? That is a big question. That is a very big question. And honestly, it, it really goes to our understanding of who God is. Now you may be asking yourselves, well, why would Donna say that? A prophet was the mouthpiece of God. In the Old Testament era, that's the simplest way I know how to put it. Um, those of you who are serious Bible scholars, may have a better way of putting it, but the way I view personally an Old Testament prophet is the mouthpiece of God. God would give a prophet such as Jeremiah, such as Elijah, such as our friend Ezekiel that we are getting ready to know, a message. And it was the responsibility of that prophet to deliver in full accuracy the message that God had given them to deliver. 
The penalty of getting it wrong was death. So it was very important that when a prophet received a message from God, they delivered it the way God intended them to deliver it and only say what the Lord had given them to say without any embellishment. Understanding the prophets from the Old Testament is key to understanding the nature of God. These people were handpicked by God before they were even born. They were built inside their mother's womb for exactly this calling. Jeremiah, or excuse me, Ezekiel was a, um, well, he was a student of Jeremiah. I, I don't know that he sat under Jeremiah specifically for his instruction, but he was definitely heavily influenced by Jeremiah um, in his ministry. Ezekiel was very unique as a prophet because he was so flamboyant. He, he utilized vivid word pictures and went into great technical detail about the visions that he received. He would do almost dramas for the people of Israel so that they could actually see what God was saying played out in front of them. He would set up little models and, and uh, little, um, little, oh, like he would use a brick to represent Jerusalem and then he would lay siege against the brick so that they could actually see what he was talking about uh, in real time. What else makes him an interesting person to study and his writings important for us to understand? Well, the time at which Ezekiel lived and when he was called into service as a prophet is very important. Jeremiah prophesied to Israel about their, the situations that they had now found themselves in under Ezekiel's care as a prophet. Ezekiel basically picks up uh, in a dovetail where Jeremiah left off. And Daniel also is a peer of Ezekiel. They were about the same age, Daniel and Ezekiel, but they served in two very different forms. While Daniel was in the palace, Ezekiel was in a refugee camp. He began his exile that had been prophesied by Jeremiah along with the Israelites after the Babylonian Empire came in and took, took so many of them, including the king, to this refugee camp and then others onto the palace like Daniel. Um, they sat in this refugee camp for about five years before they heard a single word from the Lord. Ezekiel was 25 years old when he went into exile. 
And it wasn't until his 30th birthday that he was actually called into service as a prophet. Now, this is very interesting because imagine being Ezekiel. He was born into a priest, priestly family. He was destined to be a priest. He was born into that lineage, and it was his responsibility to become a priest. He had been trained his whole life to serve in the temple. Now imagine being Ezekiel, carried off into exile and dumped off in a refugee camp about a hundred miles south of the city of Babylon. He's sitting by the river. It's his 30th birthday. He sees no future for himself. When all of a sudden, he receives the call of his life. He is to not only be a priest, but a prophet of the Most High God. What his life lesson tells me is, do not look at your current circumstances for what your future is about to be. It may look like all hope is gone. It may look like there is no future for you, but that is simply not true. He was called into service five years after being sent into exile. And there was no word from the Lord for five years. Imagine being in that position as an Israelite. You are experiencing complete silence from God. No word, no visitation. And you are in exile. You are in a refugee camp. You don't know what's happened to your city. You don't know what's happened to the temple. There has been conflicting voices from leadership all around you. One saying you're doomed. One saying there's hope. One saying you did nothing wrong. One saying you did everything wrong. But no voice from God. Then, suddenly, one day, a young man is called into service and he begins his ministry. And that ministry is to help the Israelites understand why they're in exile, what is, what to do with why they're in exile, and with the, and what to do with the time they're in exile. He's also about to explain to them what's coming in the near future and in the far and distant future. We have a prophet who is able to describe past, present, and future, not just for the Israelites, and this is what makes Ezekiel special. His lessons, his instruction, and his words are past, present, and future, not just for the people he served one-on-one, -on -one, directly face-to-face, -face, but for us today. His words are deeply relevant for us today. 
the Israelites lost sight of who God is and what God called them to be. It was Ezekiel's commission to help them understand who God is and what God has called them to be. And that is exactly what his words for us are. To help us understand who God is and what he's called us to be. And the why behind that is the future that Ezekiel prophesied. Join me here at face, uh, on Facebook Live at Breathe Life Ministries each and every Tuesday, 1.30 in the afternoon Eastern, or excuse me, 1 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern. Let me say that one more, again, one, one, one more time. We're going to be diving in to the prophet Ezekiel every Tuesday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. I have an event page set up. <coughs> so you can just log in and see and, and participate in this Bible study. It'll be 30 minutes long. And we are going to get into this together. There is so many exciting things to talk about within this book of Ezekiel. I'm, I'm actually getting really excited about it myself. I was afraid that it was more than I could handle, but there is a lot of great teachers out there that I am gleaning from. Um, many great Bible scholars out there that I am gleaning from. And I am really praying that what we do here at Breathe Life Ministries inspires you and empowers you to dive into the Word of God for yourself. There is no subject too deep. You can get in there and there is a lot of support out there to help you wade through uh, the scriptures. Um, so uh, part of what we're going to be doing is, is learning how to dive in and understand God's word. So anyway, share this event with your friends and I will see you here next week, one o'clock Eastern at Breathe Life Ministries for a dive into the book of Ezekiel. God bless. Love you much. Take care.